Hello, pick makers and sheep hunters. This is Jury Duty Summons, and welcome back to How to Terra Firma Craft. In this episode, I'm going to take a look at making alloys. And to that end, I've melted up some ore. So right here I have some copper ore in its liquid state. I brought it all the way up to yellow to give me just a little bit of wiggle room. And I'm going to, I'm going to combine that with tin. So I'm going to have three coppers and a tin. Uh, the copper, the tin isn't quite hot enough, so I'm going to um, put it in that top layer right now. We'll get back to it in a minute. That should be a, should warm it up enough, hopefully. <laughs> Tends how long we take for this next part. Well, in order to progress, we're going to need what's called a metallurgy table. So you're going to need some raw stone, and you're going to put it in the table in this shape. Ta-da! Metallurgy table. It is very useful to let's close this door. Very useful to stick it next to your um, your forge because you're gonna want to move these things pretty quick so that way you don't lose any temperature. So I'm gonna stick it right there for now. Um, I might stick it back there behind everything. Well, actually, I can't, can I? This is where the airflow is going. So never mind. I won't do it that. <laughs> I won't do that. Anyway, there we go. How was our temperature? Bright red. That should be good. So I'm going to grab all of these ingots, and all you have to do is stick them in the table. Doesn't actually matter where you put them. Do that. So maybe it doesn't matter where you put them. Oh, stop being liquid. Well, that was quick. Let's heat these suckers back up. You notice I am not doing a uh, shift click to throw them up there real quickly. There's a reason for that. And the reason is, it's, um, it's a little bit buggy. You can actually can accidentally duplicate items if you do that. So it may not sound like a bad thing. Um, I guess it's not really, but we want to try to avoid that. OK, so there we go. Let's go yellow one star. That's probably good enough. Oh, yellow two stars. Sure. Why not, right? I'm going to use that a few times to help it heat up a bit. That's a bellows, by the way, in case you didn't know what that is. Yellow two stars. Yellow two stars. How are we doing here? Bring that up to there. Orange. I believe orange is hot enough. The temperature you need is supposedly the temperature of the resulting, the liquid state of the resulting alloy. So there we go. So there we go. We have bronze. Ta-da! Although I think we got some wiggle room. Um, I think you do get some wiggle room with the third bar. I don't think it necessarily has to be as hot as the liquid alloy. I'm going to do some experimenting, but uh, that's that's the guideline I read on the wiki. And um, if it's not correct, I shall update it. <laughs> so anyway, have a great day, everybody. That's how you make the alloys. Um, there are all sorts of alloys, brass, bronze, bismuth bronze. If you are making, if you're early in the game and you're still making bismuth bronze, or sorry, if you're looking to look, if you're looking to make bronze, Check, check bismuth bronze. It is a little bit more efficient in materials. So for each of the four bars you get in return, all you have to do... So to get the four bars, all you have to do is invest two bars of copper. So instead of the four bars we had to, to make these four bars of bronze, bismuth bronze only requires two bars. So that means um, you're saving a bar of copper. So if copper is going to be rare, and it usually is, uh, making bismuth bronze is a little bit more efficient. So, um, yeah, there you go. If you guys have any questions, please let me know, and have a wonderful day.